guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. We are going to be kicking off spring with our first clean and decorate with me for spring 2023. We're also going to be doing some DIYs and I have a ton of things to share with you in this video. If you're new here, my name is Laura Nicholson. I love to do all things home decorating, cooking and cleaning and I would love it if you would pause and subscribe to my channel. If you're returning, it is so great to see you. Okay, let's jump into this beautiful day. Okay guys. It is demo day. We have so many projects going on today, but one of them is going to be demoing this fireplace part of it. Yesterday, if you guys are on my Instagram, you saw we just chiseled this one piece out to kind of see what is under here and it's cement. So we're going to probably, we're do a couple things. One, I think this mantle is too high and it's ugly. So I wanna bring it down to like here and put a really thick um, mantle here. I want to take this down. I, I I love the frame TV, but this I'm going to put at our other house because it's it was made it was built for the Victorian. So we have that going on. Hi, Tiwi. And then out here we have a couple other projects. We also need to feed the chickens real quick. It's a beautiful day. We are going to be building in this area for the chickens. Good morning, girls. Look at the poop. Good morning. Good morning everybody good morning everybody you guys hungry all right let's feed the chickens and okay come on girls gang's all here hi hi blanca say good morning we got salt we do we have pepper we have rio all right let's go let's go good morning good morning nope oh, don't don't do that come on let's go eat Here. Okay. okay, anyway, so we are going to build over here the new chicken coop. We'll build a door. That way I can get my garden going. We're going to build another bed back there for herbs, vegetables, and then over here a big one for tomatoes because it gets really good sun. So we have that. Once we move the chickens, I will come through here and really clean this whole space up. But for now, this is a nice, safe place for them to play. It will also have a net over it to keep. We get a lot of, we're very close to like vineyard land. So, good to you, cuties. Um, so we get a lot of like predators. So we like to keep them safe. I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so once again, we'll probably cut some of this lamb's ear back. Um, Got some rosemary bushes, but these trees are great for them to kind of perch on. And then over here, we'll be putting the chicken coop. So you don't really, you won't even see it there. In here, we're gonna be doing spring cleaning while construction's going on. I got all of my Eastern spring decor out. Got the chandelier in, looks beautiful. Can't really tell, but um, what buddy, you wanna go outside? Everything looks good in here. It's the other exciting thing. We finally picked out a wood. Okay, I need to go change my shoes. I'll go outside, should we? Come here. Got all of that. I got a bunch of stuff I need to unbox here that came while I was out of town. And then I want to clear all this off. We're just focusing on the downstairs today. We have laundry room and still looking in pretty good condition for spring cleaning I want to clean all this stuff it gets really dirty I want to put my new pet Libro up and they are sponsoring today's video so I will talk to you about them I already have my pet Libro water this is the newest version of their um, uh, automatic feeder so I'll tell you guys about that a bit yeah so we'll clean all this it's messy but it's gonna be beautiful when we're done so let's get to work 
I thought we would start this by quickly saying goodbye to that fireplace. I will be updating you throughout this video and many more after this to show you all the projects we have started for the spring season. So when I do spring cleaning, I like to create a small little caddy with all the things I need and that are necessary for cleaning windows, surfaces, and all around the house. So what I'm gonna do to get started is grab the things I think I'm gonna need since we're starting in the laundry room today. I'm gonna to grab some rags. I wanna grab a couple sponges because I wanna clean the baseboards as well and just stuck on dirt and things like that, especially in the laundry room. That's kind of like where all the dirty stuff in our house ends up anyway. So I definitely wanna make sure I have all the things I need to do a deep cleaning. If you guys have been on my channel, you know I already did an organization in here, but honestly, we haven't really done much since we moved in. I wanted to get rid of all these, um, the tables, the sheets, the racks that are in here. They really do need to go upstairs. I thought I could get away with it, but it just looks silly in here. So we're gonna go ahead and not only organize, we're gonna deep clean, we're gonna decorate, and then we're also gonna be doing a major transformational DIY, so don't forget to stick around. If you guys are already following me over on Instagram, you have already seen how this all turns out. So here's my caddy. I'm going to add some shams. I'm gonna add some glass cleaning rags. I'm going to add just some regular old washcloths and some other just rags that I can use to clean it because I'm not sure what I'm going to need, but it's nice when you start into a room, you have everything you need right there. So you don't have to keep looking for stuff. Once you're ready, go ahead and put it into the room you're going to get started in and let's get to work. So here's the first room we're gonna be tackling this spring. It is our laundry room. It is a highly used part of our home. As a family of six, we are in here a lot. It also services the cats. We've got cat food over here. We've got their litter box. We have all the sheets that also service all six beds in this house, excuse me, five beds in this house, and just stuff everywhere. So what we're gonna start doing is removing everything from this space and then we're gonna go ahead and deep clean it. Before we do that, I want to take a moment and thank Pet Libro for sponsoring today's video. I am so grateful to work with amazing companies like Pet Libro. As you guys know, I am a huge lover of pets. We have three cats, seven chickens, and one dog, and four children. And for me, I put just as much love and care into feeding my pets as I do my kids. And as you can see when we came into this room, it was an absolute mess, cat food everywhere, which brings us to today's sponsor, which is Pet Libro. You guys know I have worked with them in the past. I have their DocStream wireless pump water fountain, which my cats absolutely love. And today we're gonna be doing a little review on their air automatic pet feeder. And I'm gonna tell you a couple reasons why I absolutely love this. I like the press to release lid where I can put all of the cat food and secure it tight with one click. And this will keep bugs like ants out of the food and keep it nice and fresh. I also love that it as 180 day battery life so I don't have to worry about um, where to put it if I want to put it outside during the summer or move it into the laundry room in the winter I can absolutely do that the actual dish where the cats eat out of is removable and totally easy to clean I also like that it has a smart status indicator to let me know when I need to add more food and then it has overnight feeding assistance so replacing manual feeding with automatic feeding if you do have an older cat that needs to eat later in the day the other feature it has is a nice control panel that has a little door so that it keeps your pets from automatically feeding themselves. You don't have to worry about that. And then you also have a nice rotor at the top that portions out the food that's perfect for your cats. So depending on what the daily intake is, you can do three portions all the way up to 24 portions or six tablespoons. If you guys are interested in checking out my Pet Libro automatic pet feeder, I will put it in the links down below. And thank you again to Pet Libro for sponsoring today's video.
Depending on how often you guys deep clean or clean around your house, it will kind of determine how much work it's going to take. You guys know that I pretty much clean these rooms every single week. I really feel less stress and anxiety when my house is clean and things are orderly. When I have piles of things that I don't need or don't use, which is pretty much half this room, I tend to get really overwhelmed. I recently, if you guys again are on my Instagram, I recently took a solo trip, which I take every single year um, to just reset for myself. And during that experience, I was really able to unpack a lot of things that do not bring me joy anymore. Some of which are things that have to do with our home, with my time, my schedules, my routines, and my work. So from that, I will tell you things are going to be a little bit different here on my channel, as you might tell. Um, I'd like to go back to the way I used to do things on YouTube. But as I progressed, I wanted to progress at a similar rate of other YouTubers that I love and respect in the cleaning and homemaking uh, niche here on YouTube, but I I honestly think that I just want to go back to the way I do things. So I'm really going to be changing up what I show on here. I will continue to work with sponsors because honestly, I really enjoy being able to contribute to my family while still being able to make great videos for homemaking, motivation, and inspiration. So please note that if that's not something you love, I totally understand and respect. But for me, it's a very important part of being able to dedicate as much time as I am at this point uh, in my life to you. YouTube while also being able to contribute to my family. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you guys are wanting to stick around for things like my uh, DIY garden, my gardening tips. We're going to be doing a ton of farm to table recipes like herb raviolis and things like that that I've made over the years but not shared on here. I'm also going to be doing some dehydrating of vegetables and some herbs to make homemade spices. I'm going to be doing a lot more recipes because another thing that I have really um, realized is I love cooking. It's my favorite. I don't usually do a ton of it on my channel because I never know if it's um, something you guys will find a value, but I did a huge poll on my Instagram and most of you said you love it as well. So I will definitely be sharing a lot more recipes and then a lot of home DIYs, which you will see a whole lot of because we have been going crazy, putting new plans in place for this house because I want to have a lot of fun this summer. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you want that type of home home organization, cooking, cleaning, and things like that from me. And um, I appreciate all of your support here on my channel and I'm looking forward to growing with you. I'm sure you guys will be cleaning out your washer and dryers during your spring cleaning marathon at home, but since these are pretty much brand new, I didn't need to deep clean them too much, but I'd love to open up a conversation down in the comments down below if you have some great tips and tricks for all of us on how to clean or deep clean your washer and dryer for spring cleaning.
give this video a thumbs up if you guys have already started your spring cleaning and I'd love to know in the comments down below what are some major things that you do in the spring to clean do you clean out your dishwasher do you what kind of things around the house appliance wise and maybe you deep clean your bathroom or like what are your go-to's for spring I always love to start at the very top of each room and slowly work my way down you'll see in this video I end up <laughs> doing a lot more than that but I always like to start that way and then finish off with a nice um, vacuum and mop but let us know in the comments down below how do you like to do your spring cleaning I'm going to go ahead and remove all of this and actually reorganize it up in the girls rooms and the boys rooms that way I don't just have a pile of sheets here I really enjoyed cleaning this area but it's just way too industrial for me so I want to bring in some softness so to get started I'm going to remove everything even if I was going to put this back in I wanted to remove the rug and everything so I could actually deep clean all the baseboards and give the floor a little mop and just get everything nice and decluttered and nice and dust free and clean. So now that I have that table out of the way, I'm gonna give this window a nice deep clean. It's still very rainy here. This happens to be a beautiful day while I was filming, but we have another big thing of rain coming, so I'm not gonna worry about the exterior windows until later after all the spring rain is gone. The baseboards in my laundry room are always super dusty. I do clean them periodically. So again, it's not super messy in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get the dust that is currently on here off. I will tell you when we go into the living room, I never clean those baseboards and they are really dirty. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you guys wanna tackle that with me soon. The last thing we want to do is actually clean the floor. So I'm going to be using my Robo Rock, which is a vacuum and mop in one. I've shared it many times on my channel and I will link it down below if you guys are interested. Um, and then I'm actually going to do a really deep clean on the floor as well. So to get started, I want to just get all the food and um, dust and whatnot off this floor. I'm also going to do a quick mop and then we will go back over it with a hand mop. I use, I think it's called the O Cedar Mop. Um, I really like it, uh, but you'll see a couple of the stains on this floor really tough and it's a little bit too much for the robo rock so we're going to use both then when we're done i'm going to do a little diy with you
while this is filling up, I wanted to give you guys a little update. It's been, I think like an hour or two and look how incredible that fireplace is coming along. I cannot wait to show it to you guys when it's done. So while they are still working in there, I am going to give this floor a super hot deep clean. I like to use piping hot water with my O cedar mop and then just a little bit of the lavender pine salt. And I'm just gonna go through and just deep clean this entire floor. Everything is nice and clean. Take that load out, fold it later. Sink is looking good. We've got, um, everything is in the hallway here. Speaking about painting these white real quick. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring in a different table for here and keep that laundry out of here because I don't like it. Um, and then put the cat food over in this area. Let's keep a little change of plans. I'm gonna throw a little bit of white paint on these. Um, even though we're probably gonna be changing this, it's not gonna be for a minute. So I just think it'll look prettier. I don't like this Beyond Paint uh, is my favorite. And it's very quick. The transformation is fast. And I'll probably have to do two or three coats, which is fine, but I can at least get a coat up and then we'll move into that mess. But um, I think it'll really make this space look prettier. So we're gonna do that. And um, it's 10.30 right now. The fireplace is almost completely demolished. It's been only an hour and 15 minutes, which is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna put some of this paper up and cover the top here. I mean, I don't have to do too much. I may, no, I'm not even gonna cover this because I'm just gonna cut it in right here. You won't even notice it. We'll do a little inside, inside, real simple, and then we'll keep it. I'm going to be using the same poles and the same paint from the kitchen. I had some left over. I will link the paint down below. It's my favorite. You do not have to sand, prime, prep, do anything except wash the cabinets, which I already did. So I am really excited. My camera does die, so there is a little bit of a, a moment you guys don't see, but for the most part, I think we all know how to apply paint. I ended up applying three coats to the front and two coats to the inside because it just didn't require it in there, and it turns out absolutely absolutely beautiful and was absolutely worth the work.
Okay guys, first coat is on. It already looks so different in here. So glad I did this. A little bit not what I had planned for today, but I'm gonna slap one more coat on this. Well, let's take a look. Let's see if it's dry. Oh yeah, God, I love this product. Already dry. One more coat. I got my heater going, so that's good, but already looks so much better. We'll be able to completely finish this in this video, so let's keep working. While I was cleaning things out, I found these cute little signs. I don't know if you guys remember these from the old house, but I just wanted to hang them up. I'm slowly trying to get this house to feel like home and it's feeling a little bit more like home every single day. So now I'm gonna clean the little mess I made in the hallway and I wanna dismantle this table because I think I'm gonna move it into the laundry room to create a warmer environment. I didn't wanna have so much space in here. I do not fold laundry in here. Um, it's really just a space for the cats and the laundry basket. So I thought it'd be nice to just move that in here and then I'm gonna do a little decorate with me so you guys can see how it all turns out I'm gonna add this rug back but before I do I need to vacuum it I'm still loving my shark I don't know how I have ever lived without this vacuum um, for a rug vacuum this thing is incredible hands down my favorite vacuum I've ever owned so I'm just gonna vacuum this up and then we're gonna do a really fun decorate with me So once I'm done vacuuming, I wanna start bringing in some decor. I had a piece of art that used to be down in our basement at the Victorian house, and it was in the garage, and I thought it'd be kind of fun to put in here. It ends up looking super cute. Uh, this thing weighs a ton, so I'm just gonna put the screws in the wall, and then I will have my husband help me to lift it because it's way too heavy, but I think it ends up looking very cute in here. Once the hardwood floors go in, I think it's gonna all come together. Right now, it's still, um, lacking that and if you can tell underneath the cabinet by my feet i didn't paint that i mean now i have but i didn't paint it in this video until i was cutting i was like oh my god i didn't even see that there um so i want to set up the cat's food area again these are both the pet libro um, automatic feeder and a water fountain this is a perfect little spot for them and far enough away from the litter so they can get their food and water as needed the last thing i want to do is add some uh, nice florals to this space and a tree i just want to make it a more like simple and maybe a little more serene place I'm in here quite a bit rotating laundry again I don't do any folding in here I usually like to do that in my bedroom but I do want to keep this area nice and clean and I want to come in here and be proud of what I have in here so we're gonna add some of that and then I'm gonna add a couple more touches and I'll show you how it all turns out
So now that I have a little decor in here, I wanted to finish the cabinets by putting on these poles. Now they, they have had about two hours to dry at this point. Um, that stuff, the paint that I use dries really, really fast. So if you are like me and you want to do a little DIY project somewhere in your house, this paint is very easy to use. It dries quickly and it uses great coverage with minimal work. So don't deny yourself that wonderful new bathroom or kitchen counter or kitchen cabinet. Just go ahead and check out this paint. I have other DIY videos on my channel if you're looking for more inspiration. Here's how it all turned out. So simple, nice and clean. Just such a simple transformation. We ended up finding the extras from the kitchen, just throwing those on there, giving it um, kind of the same read as the kitchen, but that's beautiful. Added just a simple little flower over there. I added the cat food here. I have my pretty litter back there for their litter robot. And then I have just their pet Libros in here. So it's so less congested of a space. Um, I love how simple these are. I think they look really beautiful in here. I added just some grab and go spray and napkins and then a nice candle. It tends to be the room where all the dirty things come. So <laughs> it's kind of nice to have this. I have my um, confectionery soap co. I will keep this out until it absolutely runs out because my favorite smell, so fresh. And then I have a nice fig magnolia um, from fall that I like to keep in here. Just keep that lit. I put in some hydrangeas. Sorry, it's loud in there. Some hydrangeas from Hobby Lobby. I've had these for a couple years. And um, I put the bench here for whatnot. I'm going to throw a couple of our laundry baskets right here and it's done. Thank you guys so much for watching day one of my spring deep clean and decorate with me. I cannot wait. I have so much more coming up and the house is turning into such a beautiful home and I cannot wait to share more with you guys soon. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye.